In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an AI voice appointment setter for your business. And if you're not using AI to call up your leads and book appointments with those leads, you're going to be left behind. Now, don't panic. You don't have to be some sort of genius or have a ton of experience or know how to code to create this AI bot. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set all this up. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So if we take a look down here, let's say that a lead shows interest in your business and they opt into a form that you have, let's say on a landing page. What's going to happen is we're going to create an AI bot that collects all that information and the platform that we're going to use to do this is called Synthflow. And what this bot's going to do is whenever someone fills out a form on your website, this bot is immediately going to call them up and then it's going to see if that lead qualifies. And if the lead qualifies, it's going to book an appointment in your CRM. And for this example, we're going to be using Go High Level. So later on, I'm going to show you how to connect Go High Level with Synthflow. And just like that, instead of having to manually reach out to your leads that opt in, we can just have AI do that for us. And instead of just sending that lead an email or a text, we're going to be giving that lead a call, which will improve our conversion rate. Rate. So that's everything that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and set all of this up. So to get started, you just want to come over here to synthflow.ai. And this is the platform we're going to use to build out this AI voice caller. Also, Synthflow allows us to white label their platform. So of course, we can build this out for our own business. But if you want to, you can also build this out for other businesses as well. And you can charge them for that. And we can easily integrate Synthflow with Go High Level by adding it as a custom menu link. So go ahead and create an account. And now that you're inside of Synthflow, the first thing that we're going to do is come over here to where it says integrations. And this is where we can integrate third party platforms like Twilio and Go High Level. So I'm just going to click right here and I'm going to go ahead Ahead and connect my go high level account so right here i'm going to see all the sub accounts that i have inside of go high level and you just want to choose the sub account that you want to connect this with so i'm just going to choose this one right here so now that we have our go high level account connected to this platform we can come over here to where it says assistance and this is where we're going to create an ai assistant for our business that will call up all of our leads so i'm just going to come over here to where it says create and then click on assistant and for the assistant type we can choose outbound or inbound and i'm just going to do outbound and now to finish setting up this assistant we can go ahead and add a photo right here and then we can choose an AI assistant name. So I'm just going to name this Sarah. And then next we can choose a language and then a voice type. So if I just click this, you can come through here and test out all of these voices. So I'm just going to click right here. Hey there. And that's what that voice sounds like. And you can just find the one that you like the best. And then over here we can choose the AI model. So I'm just going to do GPT-4 Turbo. And then right here you can choose the time it takes for the bot to respond. Right here we can add a custom greeting. So I can do something like, hey there, this is Sarah with Lead Life. And then if you want to, you can add a custom variable, which I'll show you how to set up later. And then right here, you can add any words that are commonly used in your business just to help out this bot. So you can add your brand name or any product names, etc. And then right here, you can choose if you want to record these calls. And then once you're done with all this, we can go on to the next step. So now we can go ahead and set up an action that we want this bot to perform. So we can have this bot send an SMS. And in this SMS, the bot will just send a calendar link where they can go ahead and book an appointment. We can choose real time booking. And what this will do is when the AI bot is on the phone call with the lead, the AI bot is going to ask the lead when they want to book an appointment. And whatever the lead says, let's say the lead says I'm free on Friday at 3 p.m. The AI bot is going to collect the information and automatically book them on your calendar. And then you also have call transfer. So if you want this AI bot to transfer the lead to a real person, you can have it do that. And then you also have info extractor. So let's say that you want the AI bot to ask a couple questions to qualify the lead. Whatever answers the lead gives the AI bot, the AI bot will automatically transfer that information inside of go high level. So for this example, let's just do real time booking. So again, this will book an appointment on the phone call. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my calendar from go high level. So now that you guys have an action connected to this platform, we can go ahead and start writing out this prompt. And pretty much what we write in here is what we want the AI assistant to do, what their tasks are, what our expectations are, what our requirements are, etc. And of course, you're going to want to come in here and play around with this and keep tweaking it until you get it perfect. Also, if we come over here, this platform does have templates that we can use. So if we click right here, we're going to see if you templates for different industries. So we have templates for real estate, one for insurance, churn prevention, inbound B2B SaaS, or B2B SaaS sales qualify outbound. So if you want to, you can choose one of these that relates to your industry, but I already went ahead and wrote one out. So I'm just going to come up here and go to this Google Doc that I have. And what this prompt is going to do is pretty much introduce my AI assistant. So I just went ahead and said you are Sarah, a senior sales representative at Lead Life. And then right here we have some product information. We have our target audience, our value proposition. And then right here we have objections handling. And then down here we we have qualification questions that we want to ask the lead. So these are the questions right here. And then we have all of our benefits and then closing and follow up. So pretty much all of this right here will help train the AI bot to know more about our business. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this right here. And then we can go back into Synthflow and I'm just going to delete all of this right here. 
and then paste in our new prompt. So here it is. And now we can actually go ahead and test this out by coming over here and giving ourselves a call. So if we click right here, this is where you can add a Twilio number that this AI bot will use to call your leads. You can also click where it says manage phone numbers and right here is where you can buy a phone number. And these phone numbers right here will be a little over a dollar a month. So you can go ahead and choose one and then click on continue. So here's our new number that we're going to use to test this out. If we go back and edit our assistant to test out this bot, we can come over here, select our new number, add our name. So I'm just going to type in Sarah. And then right here, you just want to add in your phone number. So I'm just going to go ahead, type in my phone number. So now let's test this out by having the AI bot call me. So I'm just going to click right here. And this AI bot is now going to call my phone. So here it is. I'm going to answer it and put on speaker. Hey there. Hey. Great to hear from you. I'm Sarah from Leadlift. We've noticed you're looking into boosting your marketing and sales efforts. Have you thought about using Leadlift to streamline your operations? Sure thing. Could you tell me a bit about your current marketing and sales process? What tools are you currently using to manage leads and sales? So you guys get the point. There it is. It was now going through the qualification questions that I had. And after I answer all those questions, it's then going to ask me if I want to book an appointment. So that's what you guys are going to want to do as well. You're just going to want to test this bot out. And nine times out of 10, the first time that you call this bot, it's probably not going to be perfect. So you just want to come in here and keep tweaking your prompt. And then once you're satisfied, you can go on to the next step. So right here is where you just want to add your number. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the number that we just got. So here it is. And then we can go ahead and add a daily budget. So I'm just going to do $10. And I'm pretty sure this platform charges you 0 0.08 cents per minute. And then we can check this box right here and then click on finish. So now this campaign is going to run. But first, we're going to want to connect SynthFlow with Go High Level. So whenever someone fills out a form, let's say on one of our landing pages, our AI assistant can go ahead and reach out to that lead and try to book an appointment with them. So let's go ahead and jump inside of Go High Level and I'm going to show you how to connect it. So once you're inside of Go High Level, the CRM that we're going to be using for this example, we can actually download SynthFlow as a third party app. So if we just come over here and we go to where it says App Marketplace, right here is where we can download third party apps to Go High Level. And if we just come right here and search for SynthFlow, you're going to see the app right here. So you can just click on this and then you can come over here and download this app to your Go High Level account. And then once you do that, if you take a look right here, this app is now added as a custom menu link that says Voice AI. If I click on this, I'm going to be able to see my SynthFlow dashboard dashboard where I can manage all of my AI agents. So instead of having to go to the website, I can do all of this directly through my Go High Level account. So now that you guys have the app downloaded to your Go High Level account, we're still going to want to integrate SynthFlow with Go High Level. And the way we're going to do that is by creating a couple automations. So if we come over here to automation, and then I'm just going to come right here and create a new folder. And I'm just going to name this folder AI agent and then click on create. And then inside of this folder, we're going to create two automations. So I'm just going to click on create workflow, start from scratch. And for this first automation, I'm just going to name it make a phone call. So this automation right here is what's going to trigger the AI bot for this trigger. I'm just going to click right here. I'm just going to do form submitted and then for the filter form is and then I'm just going to choose my website form for this example and then click on save trigger. So next we can go ahead and add an action and for this one I'm just going to search for make a phone call and then right here where it says model I'm just going to go back inside of SynFlow and then go to deployment and then right here where it says model ID I'm just going to copy this number go back to go high level and paste that right here and then where it says phone I'm just going to click on this tag and add a custom value so I'm just going to do contact and then phone and you are going to want to make sure that this is in the raw format to make this work. So don't just do phone. You're going to want to click right here where it says phone raw format. And then for the name, we can just come over here, go to contact and then first name. Now we're going to want to add our API key right here. So again, we can go back to SynthFlow right here where it says API key. We can go ahead and copy this number and then go back to go high level and paste that right here. And then if you take a look right here where it says key, this is where we can add custom values that will transfer over to SynthFlow. So for example, I can do something like company dot name. And then down here for the value, we can add my company name so I can do lead live. So now in our prompt, anywhere that has company dot name, my business name will automatically appear. So what you can do is just copy this and then go back to SynthFlow. And if we go to prompt right here where it says lead life, if you want to, you can add that custom value right here. And whatever you put right here for the value will automatically appear right here. So you can create these custom values for pretty much whatever. You can add a custom value for your AI assistant's name, for your email, phone number, pretty much whatever. And this is very useful, let's say, if you want to swap the name of your AI agent. Instead of having to go back inside of your prompt and change anywhere that says Sarah, which is my agent's name, you can just come over here and swap out the value of your agent. And then once you're done, finish setting all of this up, you can go ahead and click on Save Action. So whenever someone fills out this 
this form right here. What's going to happen next is our AI bot is going to call up that lead that filled out that form and appear for a trigger. You can pretty much do whatever you want. So if you don't want to do a contact form, you can do something else. And just like that, you're going to have everything set up. So we can go ahead and save this. Also, if we go to settings, we can go ahead and allow re-entry. So now we're going to want to create a second automation that's going to collect all the data on that phone call. But first to do that, you are going to want to test out this workflow. So just click right here. And then you're just going to want to call yourself by clicking on run test. So once you click on this button, the AI bot will call your phone. And from that, you're going to get sample data to create the second workflow. So once you're done testing your bot, we can go back out of here. And now we can go ahead and create our second workflow by clicking right here. And then we can start from scratch. And then for the name, let's just name this workflow get call data. And then for this first trigger, we're going to want to do an inbound webhook. So right here, you just want to copy this URL. And then you want to go back to Synthflow. And then over here where it says deployment. And then down here where it says webhook, you just want to paste in that webhook right here. And then click on initialize. And then once you do that, you can go back to go high level. And then we can fetch sample data by clicking this button. And we're just going to want to click on our new request. And just like that, you're going to get a ton of sample data right here. And this is all of the data that our AI bot is going to collect on the call. And again, if you don't see any data in the last workflow, you are just going to test the workflow and make sure that you go through the full call with the AI bot. So now let's go ahead and save this trigger. And now the next thing that we have to do is create a contact. So let's just add a field. And then for this, let's just do phone. And then let's click on this tag and click on inbound webhook trigger. And then you want to click on lead and then phone number. And then we can go ahead and save this action. And now we can come over here and add a note. And on this this note is all the data that we're going to collect on the call. So now if I click right here and then click on inbound webhook trigger and go to call, this is where we can add some information from the call to this note. So if I want to, I can add the phone call transcript right here and so on and so forth. Whatever data that you want to collect on the phone call inside of a note, you'll just add that right here and then we can go ahead and save this action. So whenever our AI agent makes a call, that person's contact will be updated and then we're going to receive this note with all the information that we want from the call. And then once we're done with that, we can go ahead and save this workflow and then exit out of here. And just like that, with these two automations, our Go High Level account will be connected with Synthflow. So now every time a lead is interested in our business and they opt into one of our landing pages, our AI agent will immediately call that lead and try to get that lead to book an appointment with us. So guys, that's how you can build an AI bot for your business. And like I said before, at the beginning of this video, not only can you build this out for yourself, but if you want to make money with this, this is something that you can sell to local businesses and it's going to be very easy to set up and maintain. And for this, you can charge a monthly price to these local businesses and that's another way you can make money with go high level so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and got some value from it if you guys have any questions let me know down below also i would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one